director of the Mona High School Manning Cup team. Coach, how do you feel about that game? Um, uh, you know, you win some, you lose some, but if I was going to lose one, this would be the game all season that we can afford to lose. If we lost to the semis, we're out. If we lose the final, we come second. If we lose this game, we still get to play JC, which I, I want to play JC, and I'm looking forward to it. And we get an opportunity to play KC again if they beat stats. So, a personal question of mine, Coach: Did you want to go the whole Manning Cup season unbeaten, or was it just willingly for you? You know, what I want to do is to go the whole Manning Cup season and never give up, never break down, never stop fighting, because it's not what you do; it's how you do it. It's not the result. We lost the game today, but we didn't lose the fans. We didn't lose the hearts of the players. We didn't lose the family, you know. And if anyone was going to score on us, it should be Whisper. All right, let's talk about Dujan Whisper Richards. How did you prepare for a matchup? We call him the best player in the Manning Cup. Um, what challenge did he pose to you today and how did you prepare and how did you execute that? You know, one of the things is, you know, you must trust your gut and trust your heart and trust. As a coach, you must never relent from your system. And I think the mistake we made was to try to mark Whisper, put somebody on him instead of playing our system and shift. If you notice, after we, he got two penalties, and after those two penalties, Whisper was out of the game because we didn't get the ball, the ball didn't go to him. We intercepted the ball before it reached him, playing our Domino, domino 6 system. So it was, it was effective. All right. Speak to me about that system. What did you try to do against Kingston College today? You know, having one of the deadliest players in the Manning Cup, having a solid defense up and you know this, but they don't know they are not known for conceding a lot of goals. Um, what did you try to do today tactically? Well, first of all, we started with, with with three at the back, which we don't normally do. We normally start with two, and we create a, a system based off the failings. The failings is a, a, a method of warfare um, over the years that they would have layers of people that you have to go through to get to the, um, to penetrate and so we, we created our domino six formation which is not used anywhere else in the world and only us as a nation can actually do it well as well because we have the ability to shift while the ball is in flight into the position so we can because we're fast we're able to move we can leave a player open here when the ball is played we press and when the ball is played we can shift so we did that and it was effective. We got back the two goals. We put one of our defenders up front and made him pressure. And we, we got the chances and we, we scored. So um, towards the end, against the runner play, Casey scored two goals. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a heartbreaker. But you know what? God has a way of doing things. These boys need to learn and feel the taste of defeat so that they can feel the passion of victory. And um, that taste of defeat today, really will, will give them the opportunity to go home, fight every day, and be out there and ready to go. All right, speak to me. You, you mentioned it a while ago. Speak to me about you know, putting one of your best defenders, Carlton Brown, in the attack. You know, he was a menace today. What did he offer to your team? Well, he, he's, a, he's a fighter. He's a fighter. He has ability. He used to be a midfielder before we converted him to a defender. And that combination, coupled with the fact that he was the one who gave up the two penalties, he had something to prove. So we gave him that opportunity by putting him up front and having him press their defenders. And we, we, it was effective. The system we played was effective. We played beautiful football. I think it was, I think, the best game of the Manning Cup season. And um, kudos to Whisper and his team. Um, they did well, you know, to score the goals. They finished their chances. We should have finished much more chances that we got. Had we finished more, you know, the, the score, the, the result would have been different. But you know what? You know, Whisper is a talent. But guess what? You need to look at those players from Mona. They're all super talented. Every single one of them have should be in our national under 20. Every single one. We have a 14 year old that's out there destroying the KC right back until they had to take him off. A 14 year old. So I'm pleased with what I saw. And um, we will meet again. Because if um, we're definitely not going to lose to JC, I can tell you that. All right, speak to me about that semi final matchup. What can we expect? from Mona High School against Jamaica College. Your alma mater. Blood, sweat, and their tears. Mm -hmm. Blood, sweat, and their tears. No quarter given. You know, I love my, I love JC. And um, it, 
Mona has given me an opportunity to show JC about development, to show JC about implementing systems, to show JC how a coach should coach his team and the, the love that they should have for the school when they play. You know, one of the things I've been very upset about is the fact that so many kids go into first form at Jamaica College and they don't transition into the Manning Cup team. They play Pepsi, they come from prep school or primary school as the top players and then they go to JC by third, fourth form, they're recruiting more players and those kids who gave their trust to you, they, they are out of the, the loop. They're not making it. Dylan John is a top player. He should be starting for JC every time. And you have players that are coming from all over the Caribbean and they're playing. When they play and they get the exposure, what's going to happen to players like Dylan John? Yeah? We have to give our Jamaican players the opportunity. We need to protect our homegrown talent the way Europe protects their homegrown talent. Why do you think that to get a work permit in England, you must have 75% of your country's last 15 games as a starter. They're ensuring that the clubs only hire the best of the best from the rest of the world, giving their players who are homegrown the opportunity to, to develop and to, to make it. So for me, it's an opportunity to go there and prove to Jamaica College what development really is about. And you know, at the same time, it's a lot of love, same way. You know, a lot of love um, for my old school and a lot of love for for Mona and a lot of love for the youth of Jamaica. Coach, the Mona support is the best I've ever seen it. How did you guys manage to pull out so many supporters from Mona High School and send a message to them real quick? Well, it's really Mona pride and, you know, thank them so much for being here, for being with us, for fighting with us. You know, sick or no sick, I'd have preferred to die on that field than to walk away from them. And that's one thing that we have as a unit, we have a bond as a family. And I'm grateful for all the fans, what the fans do to us. Uh, do for us after every game, you see me go over there and tell the boys, go over there and clap them because they help us along the way. That energy that when you're in the 90th minute and your legs are, are wobbling and you need that extra strength that comes from our fans. And I, I respect to you, Mona, and respect to you, Mona fans. Love every time. All right, coach. Finally, in the Champions Cup, what are you looking to do in that competition? I don't know how the competition is going on, <laughs> to be honest with you. I, just, I, just I can tell you, it's the Champions League of schoolboy football. Well, it's great to be there. It's great to compete. It's great to have the practice games. But you know what? We have 10 scouts from Toronto FC, Red Bull New York, Genk, um, Cincinnati, Inter Miami, Darren Powell is coming on the 16th of this month. And they're coming to look at players from Phoenix and the best young players in Jamaica. And we're going to put on three games for them to see. And hopefully we can get these kids a chance at a better life through football. That is what really is important to me. I'm grateful for the opportunity to play for in the Champions League of schoolboy football. But I'm more grateful for the opportunity to give these kids a chance at a positive forward life through the vehicle of football. All right. Thank you for talking to us, Greg Butler. Every time. Respect. Yeah?